Hey everyone welcome to Aero Raider the aerodynamic design of the Su-27 MK gives it excellent flight characteristics. Its large, sleek frame enables extended range, stability at high speeds, and superior maneuverability. The aircraft's integrated wing body structure, twin-engine air intakes, and twin vertical stabilizers provide excellent control and stability during flight, powered by two Saturn AL. 31F afterburning turbofan engines, each producing up to 27,500 pounds of thrust, the Su-27 MK can reach a top speed of approximately 2,500 km per hour, Mach 2.35. It has a service ceiling of 19,000 meters and an operational range of about 3,530 km, making it capable of carrying out long-range missions without refueling, the Su-27 MK was initially equipped with the Fazitron N001 Mayek Pulse Doppler radar, which can track and engage multiple targets simultaneously. Its look-down-slash-shoot-down capability allows it to detect and engage low-flying targets effectively. In addition, it features the OLS-27 infrared search and track system, which passively detects enemy aircraft without emitting radar signals, useful in environments with high electronic interference. Modernized versions may include digital fly-by-wire systems, upgraded HUDs, heads-up displays, and night vision-compatible avionics, significantly improving pilot situational awareness and combat performance. The Su-27MK's strength lies in its versatile weapons arsenal, enabling it to strike air, land, and maritime targets with precision. Its 10 hardpoints can carry a wide range of armaments, including R-27, AA-10 Alamo medium-range radar, or infrared-guided air-to-air missiles. R-73, AA-11 Archer short-range infrared missiles ideal for dogfights KH-29 T, KH-31, and KH-35 missiles, effective against land targets, ships, and radar installations. S-8, S-13, and S-25 rockets, for unguided air-to-ground attacks FAB and RBK bombs, including cluster bombs and incendiary options. Additionally, the aircraft is equipped with a 30mm GSH-30-1 automatic cannon, capable of delivering high-volume fire at close range against both air and ground targets, Russia exported the Su-27MK to several allied nations, including China, Vietnam, Ethiopia, Indonesia, Kazakhstan, and Ukraine. In China, it served as the foundation for the Shenyang J-11, showing its impact on global fighter development and technology transfer. Vietnam has used the Su-27MK extensively for patrols and defense missions in the South China Sea, while Ethiopia has deployed it for border defense and air superiority roles. Its robust construction, simplicity of maintenance, and combat reliability have made it a long-term staple in these countries' air forces. Post-2020, several countries initiated upgrades for their Su-27MK fleets. These enhancements include modern avionics, new radar systems, electronic warfare (EW) suites, and integration of GPS-guided weaponry. Russia also evolved this platform into the more advanced Su-30, Su-35, and Su-34 variants. However, the original Su-27MK remains relevant due to its durable airframe and upgrade potential, keeping it viable in modern combat with proper enhancements. Despite its strengths, the Su-27MK faces a few limitations in today's technologically advanced battlefield. Outdated radar and sensors compared to modern 5th gen fighters. Lack of stealth features, which are increasingly vital in modern air warfare. High fuel consumption on long missions. Still, many of these drawbacks can be mitigated through upgrades and skilled pilot training. For countries unable to afford newer platforms, the Su-27MK provides a powerful and cost-effective solution, the Sukhoi Su-27MK remains a proven, reliable, and combat-effective fighter jet. It has served various air forces for decades and continues to play a crucial role in 2025 due to its performance, firepower, and upgradeability. 
While it may not match stealth fighters in terms of stealth or network-centric warfare, its raw speed, agility, and firepower ensure it holds its ground in the skies. For Air Force's balancing budget constraints with strategic needs, the Su-27MK remains an excellent choice, both as a frontline fighter and a foundation for future fighter development.